Have you ever noticed that shrimp seem perfectly designed to be eaten? All of their inedible guts are packed neatly into the head, while their tail is one perfect, juicy piece of muscle. You just snap off the head and tail, and you have a perfect bite. They're so considerate, they even turn bright red when they're cooked, like a built-in temperature probe. But why did they evolve this way? The truth is, these user-friendly features are actually hardcore survival mechanisms. All those vital organs are in the head so they can be protected by a hard armored shell. And that giant tail muscle? That's a rocket booster. When a shrimp senses danger, it can curl its abdomen in a split second, launching itself backwards so fast it looks like it's teleporting. For any predator its own size, a shrimp is a lightning-fast armored monster. It's not the shrimp's fault that humans, a predator that should have been chasing antelope on the savanna, figured out how to use tools to invade every ecosystem on the planet. This is a classic case of us seeing the world through a human-centric lens. For example, a fish's anus evolved to be near its tail, so the water current from swimming could conveniently wash away its waste. But to us, it looks like nature provided a perfect cut-here, dotted line for gutting it. Or look at a sea urchin. When we eat one, it comes in its own bowl, has spines so it won't roll over on the table, and even helpfully color codes the edible parts yellow and the inedible parts black. We're guilty of the same thing. We evolved to be hairless to cool ourselves down with sweat. But from a mosquito's perspective, we are perfectly designed snacks, with no annoying fur to get in the way. If aliens ever came to Earth, they might wonder the same thing about us. Who designed this creature? Thin-skinned, juicy, full of meat. Why did they evolve to be so perfect for eating? So it's not the shrimp's problem, it's ours. Funnily enough, some shrimp are actually trying to evolve to be less edible. There's a phenomenon called carcinization, where many shrimp-like creatures are independently evolving into a crab-like form a wider, flatter shell for better defense, and a tucked under abdomen to hide their weak spots. But even then, they can't escape us. We just think, great, now it's a crab. Crack it open, and even use its own legs as toothpicks to get the meat out of the shell. It proves that, in the end, humans tend to have two categories for every other animal. If it can't provide emotional value as a pet, it had better provide nutritional value as food.